All right, all right. LDBC. News your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're laughing, I'm laughing on Coach Sheldon Harrison. Comment Sports Show Live. Okay. So this is this is a video response, a rebuttal, um, a debunk to, you know, Fred at Barbershop Conversations. And again, it's not serious. And if it, were, if it really was that serious, I could just call him on the phone, you know. And that's my disclaimer. Because you have a lot of people here in YouTube land that, you know, they always want to keep strife going. But I'm not really one of those type people. I'm not one of those type people. But this is the thing, okay? <coughs> this is the thing, okay? Nobody, nobody is hating on Kenny Porter. And I think, you know, nobody's hating on Kenny Porter because he's successful. You know, I admire what Kenny Porter has made Sean into. I admire it. Because he's persistent. And he was able to get Sean to reach levels. I mean, he, Sean's a multi-millionaire because of his daddy. So that, that is to be commended. It is to be completely commended and, and it's very honorable what Kenny Porter has done with Sean. You know, he's a strong black father and I and I, I can appreciate that, me being a black man. I appreciate it. My thing is this, my issue with Kenny Porter is not him being a good father. My issue is, you know, first of all, <coughs> they lie, man. They, they pretty much saying that, that Errol Spence, you know, like, okay, this fight got to make financial sense. Well, it would make financial sense because that'll be the biggest that'll be the biggest payday of Sean's career if he fought Errol Spence because Errol Spence now is in the limelight. He's on a launch pad. Errol Spence is on a launch pad right now. But my issue is with Kenny is that Kenny Porter cannot give another fighter. He can't give him their props. He's always got to tear down a fighter that's not his son, and I think that's wrong. Kenny Porter is one hating dude. He's a hating dude. And I don't care what people say, you know, about the guy. Kenny is a hater. He's a hater. And I think really, you know, and from the way Kenny Porter, you know, from the way he talked about Errol Spence, it's like Kenny Porter kind of already got an idea, a premonition, what's going to happen to Sean. And Kenny not stupid. He's been in boxing long enough. Okay, Kenny Porter know Errol Spence, uh, his attributes. He know his skills. He know his weaknesses. And Kenny Porter knows in the back of his mind that Errol Spence's skills outweigh his weaknesses. And that that's a bad matchup for Sean. He knows this, y'all. This, this is not... Look, man. This man is no idiot, okay? Kenneth Porter is not an idiot. He's a very smart guy. Highly intelligent. Highly intelligent guy. Got a good sense for business. And Errol Spence Jr. is bad for business. He's very, very, very bad for business, okay? He's extremely bad for business because, you know, they would much rather squeeze out a few more fights before they fight Errol Spence. And then, you know, make the money. But I think the fight, you know, a fight like that, Sean, you know, they're acting like that they, they're these Mayweather-esque type stars. No. And then, you know, and I don't like the way they come off on fans. Like, Kenny, we pay. We're paying to see you. What do you mean? So I think there's a way. You've got to respect fans. Just like, you know, Fred, you know, you want us to respect these fighters. You want us to respect them. Well, you know, how about this? I'm going to throw this at you, okay? Why is it that on some of the interviews that you do, not all of them, but some of them, you're trying to talk to a fighter, and these guys, they're walking. Like, they don't even have enough respect for you or any of the people that come out and spend their dime. And, Fred, you guys, y'all spend y'all dime, man. You guys spend money. You spend money to go to these events. These guys don't have the respect for y'all to stop. I mean, stop for one minute. Give them one minute of your time. I don't care if they got to be somewhere. They got a minute. They got one minute to stop and just give you the quick answers to the questions that you're looking for. And many of your interviews, Fred, they're, they're, they're not even that, they're not, you're not even trying to hold them up. You're like, you're very good at getting these people, you know, in and out. That's why I can sit, when I see an interview from you, I can watch it. Now, sometimes you'll do a sit-down interview, you know, those are good. But the ones that you're trying to get quick answers, like, you're not holding them up, man. Like, you're not bombarding them with a lot of dumb questions. You ask, like, the good questions immediately, and then that's it. But, you know, sometimes these guys, they can't even respect you guys enough, man to just stop walking for a minute and give you a freaking interview. I mean, I don't see that. I, I don't call that respectful. But but we got to respect them and we paying. No, we paying because we want to see the best fight the best. We, we, we're pugilism. I understand, you know, respecting them as, as people. But, you know, when it get down to it, if you don't have, these people don't have any respect for us, okay, to, to give us the fights that we really want to see in a timely manner. I'm not even saying every fight that they fight got to be a, a tough matchup. I'm talking about, you know, hey, at least fight more than more than once a year. Hey, at least fight more than twice a year. 
Hey, maybe fight three to four times a year. And maybe, maybe once out of the year, give us a matchup that's, that, that's a good matchup. You know, I mean, hey, that sounds good. As fight fans, we can't even get that. And the frustration is you got guys like Kenny Porter, you got guys like Sean, you got guys like Keith Thurman, you got guys like AJ. They think they Floyd Mayweather. They not. They're not that famous. And only us, the mainstream, we know who they are. We know. But, 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 but honestly, if these guys were to walk down the street, nobody knows who Kenny Porter is. Nobody knows who Sean. But I tell you what, they know who Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather is. I mean, I, 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 can, I can guarantee you that. They know Floyd and Manny. Because you know why? You know why they know Floyd and Manny? And this is real talk. But you know why they know them? The reason why they know who Floyd and Manny Pacquiao is, because they, they took the time to fight the fights. And they gave people for a lot of their careers some of the fights that we really wanted to see. That's why people know Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. That, that's why that, uh, people don't know these guys because, you know, these guys are still in their prime. When Floyd and Manny were in their prime, they were fighting, they were fighting like four, three and four and five times a year when they were in their prime. These guys are in their prime fighting once and twice a year. So first of all, you're not a pay-per-view star, and you're not going to be pay-per-view because these guys ain't put in the groundwork yet. Sean Porter, they ain't put the groundwork in. They ain't done enough work. They ain't done enough. And now, you know, they want to be treated like they these Mayweather-ass type stars. No, we can't do that because we're not getting the fights that we want to see. We mentioned Errol Spence to you, and you say, well, you know, I don't, I don't want to do that. Keith Thurman, what about Errol Spence? Oh, he's not on my to-do list. I'm not worried about him right now. He need a belt. Well, he got a belt. The guy's overly popular now. Errol Spence it, it, is, is about to be the next star in boxing. That's who he is. That's what he's about to be. But Kenny Knob, nah, I think it's disrespectful how, how, how they do y'all, how they do Ness, how they do all the independent YouTubers right here, how they do us. You speak to these guys out like they can't talk. That's amazing, though. You amazing, like, when Tom Biz, when he do his interviews, it's amazing how he commands that respect from them, and they stop. Because town business, they know they, 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 he's going to ask them the questions, the difficult questions, not the ones that we're trying to, you know, that, that, that we're trying to patronize these people. I'm sorry, that, that we're trying to, uh, you know, we're trying to uh, stroke these egos of these people. Nah. That's not what that's not what he's doing. They ain't, they, town ain't stroking no egos. They don't have no affiliation, man. He just come in and ask the question. And the question we need to be asking Sean is what, man? What? No, you told us business. Dude, do you want to fight? Yes or no, man. Do you want to fight? And do you want to fight this year? See, that, that need to be the question. Do you want to fight early 2019? That's the only thing we need out of Sean. That's it. I don't want to hear this other stuff. I don't want to hear this other mess. I don't want to hear that, you know, well, you know, well, you know, the fight, man, you need to marinate the fight. I don't want to hear that. Don't want to hear. This fight is good business sense. Errol Spence Jr., one of the top stars in boxing, and that's not good business sense? Nah, I think they need to do a better job and stop treating the fans like we stupid. I think they need to do a better job and stop treating us like, like we don't matter, like our dollars don't matter, like we're not the people that, that's putting money into the sport. It's your hardcore fans. Without us, you, there is no Sean Porter. You don't make those paydays. You better get that through your head.